to my channel it's your girl Kayla here and thank you all so much for clicking on today's video as you can see from the title y'all we are finally finishing up the fire pit area a whole year later and I'm so happy because this area turns out so cute I'll have the video of part one linked down below in the description box if you guys missed that and you want to catch up to see how we even got to this point but pretty much since it's been a year it's been totally neglected we never actually finished it when we started on it so that's what we're going to be doing in this video a lot of weeds had taken had taken over in this area even though we did spray and put landscaping fabric down i know it's crazy but when you leave things like unattended this is just what happens so we had to go through and clean all that up so we'd have a fresh space again <laughs> Okay y'all, so we are about to go ahead and finish putting the landscaping fabric down and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the border. So the border around the front looks good, but the border around the back does not. So I'm gonna try to fix that up and then we will go from there. Will you bring me something that I never knew? A kind of happy I don't ever want. so for our fire pit we wanted to do just a very simple design we use these big like paver stones from the home depot and i'll try to have that link down below for you guys and then the gravel we got from like a supply yard and it was really inexpensive there because you can basically just get it by the ton or by the scoop once the border was complete and all the landscaping fabric was down my best friend mary and i began to go ahead and start filling that gravel in <laughs> I gotta give a shout out to Mary for helping us with this project. Girl, thank you so, so much. You guys, she wasn't even coming over to help us with this. She actually was just coming over to drop some things off. And then being so sweet and kind, she was like, y'all need some help. Y'all want me to, you know, do a few little scoops here and there. And then that turned into her staying for like over an hour helping us with this project which was so much fun. So Mary, if you're watching this, thank you so much for helping us. I love working with you, girl. And of course, just having like another set of hands makes the project go by so much quicker. Also really quick, I'd like to mention that at the end of this video, I'll be sharing a little party prep for a fall party that we had. And also it was kind of like to celebrate my birthday too. So I wanted it to be like an outdoor movie night, fall festival type vibe. So that's why it was super important that we got this fire pit done so we could have a little bit of warmth out here. And then later on, you guys will see, we're gonna put up the projector and all that stuff for the party. It turns out really, really cute. So if you'd like to see that, then just keep on watching. You, me, you, me, you, me, yeah. 
Okay guys, so the sun is getting ready to go down. It's basically is down. It's like 7.42, 7.43. And this is what we were able to accomplish so far. Mary's been so great with raking out the rocks and creating like a level area. But what we need to be most level is the middle because that's where the fire pit's gonna go. And we don't want it to be like wobbly. We want that part to be most flat. But yeah, I think it looks super, super good. And we're almost out of rocks, so. Yeah, y'all comment down below. Let me know what you think so far. So y'all, it's the next day and we are just finishing up with what we started with yesterday. Putting a lot more rocks here in the fire pit area, raking it out so it's nice and level. And then we're gonna bring in the actual fire pit and our cute little chairs to go around this area too. You and me must be right. Something's in the air, I can feel it now. You and me must do something right. We can't get enough of us. You and me every night, aiming for the stars with the love so bright. You and me must do something right. Also, Marcus's mom is here, so shout out to her for helping us as well. And if you guys watched the dining room video, then you know this was like the same exact time. We got on the same clothes in that video as we do in this one because that was literally hours before. We were getting a lot done before the party. But anyways, now they are working on putting up the projector screen because as I mentioned before, we wanted to watch a movie out here and the movie that we decided on was Hocus Pocus. So basically Marcus just drilled a long piece of wood into these two trees and then basically screwed the projector into place and that was done, super easy, super simple. And next we are going to put up some lights, which actually look so gorgeous. Got these off Amazon and they have so many different modes and settings. So basically what we're doing is putting a little screw or nail into the tree and then hanging the lights from there. And y'all, the ambiance is so perfect. So now that the base of the whole fire pit situation was basically all done and complete, it was time to get a lot of party prepping done. So the first thing I decided to create were these two candy trays to go along with the whole movie night, fall festival vibe. And I wanted it to have like a lot of nostalgic candy. So we have Mary Jane's, we have Chico sticks, these yummy, yummy caramel apple pops, which were so delicious, y'all. Um, I've only ever had the green ones, but the yellow and red ones hit too. So if you see these at your local Walmart, grab them. They are so, so good. And they were definitely a hit at the party. So that's what I put on that tray. And then on this tray, I'm putting M&M's, Reese's, and then another nostalgic candy, Red Hot. With your deep blue eyes, there was something that I just couldn't deny. Something starts to burst in my chest deep inside. Why do love like this hurt? Oh my God. It feels like, it feels like I'm gonna die. It feels like, it feels like I'm about to die. If I can have, if I can have you, you, you. And I wanna be alone with you. Alone, 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 alone with you, my love. I also forgot.
forgot that I put now and laters on there too as like another nostalgic candy. But anyways, now we're gonna be moving on to make the caramel apples and I thought these would be perfect as like a little party favor for the guests that were coming. I always like to give a little party favor when people come over and you know, spend some time with us. So I thought these were gonna be super duper yummy and they're really easy to make. So I got these little caramels from Walmart and I basically just took them out of the wrapper. You pour a tablespoon of water in there and then you microwave them. I, did, I think I did like 10 second intervals until it was all melted. And then instead of giving everyone like a whole apple, I thought that would be super wasteful because I know that I never finish my whole caramel apple when I get one like at the fair or I buy one at the grocery store. So I decided to go ahead and do like caramel apple slices instead and I think that was way cuter anyway and then for the toppings for the caramel apples I used sprinkles walnuts and I think that was just about it and I alternated between the different little toppings Right, y'all so it's the next day day of the party and Marcus and I woke up really early to go get some hay bales from Home Depot and some pumpkins for Aldi so the hay bales are going to serve as like seating during the movie and then the pumpkins are going to be for like an activity for people to do while they're waiting for the movie to start and we want them to do like a little pumpkin carving but that didn't end up happening because time just moves so 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 quick so the party started at 6 30 and then by like 8.15 or so, the movie was playing and during that time eating and drinking, all that stuff was going on. So it wasn't a lot of time to carve pumpkins, so a lot of people just ended up taking them home. And then to create some cozy little settings outside for people to watch the movie, we decided to put the rug out there. All right, you guys, so we are trying to set up like where the seating is going to be for the movie. We've set up some chairs over here yep you guys saw these chairs being set up right here for the actual fire pit then we put a rug down and we're gonna put the mattress in the sunroom on top of it and now we're trying to figure out where the that could be a seat the wheelbarrow <laughs> now we're trying to figure out where the hay bales are gonna go so let's see bring the matches right here. So you guys, this is where we had like all those rocks for the fire pit just sitting here on top of a tarp. So there wasn't any grass or anything underneath this area, just dirt. And since our party guests were gonna be coming in this way, we decided to just go ahead and put the straw down. It fit with the theme anyway, and it ended up turning out super cute. And now I'm beginning to just go ahead and set up all the tables so that those are ready to go by the time our guests get here. This main table right here is going to be like for all of the fall festival movie snacks. So we got this really fun cotton candy maker. My grandma had got this popcorn machine for me a few years ago. So we brought that out here so we could make fresh popcorn. We also had bowl peanuts out here and then two, those two candy dishes that we made last night, I brought those out here as well.
this party took place on the first day of fall, September 23rd, which is just so perfect. The weather was amazing on this day. And I really wanted to throw this party because fall is my favorite season and I wanted to just bring it in a very special way. I've never done a fall party before. And I'm trying to think, when's the last time I had a birthday party? I think like my 25th birthday was the last time I had a, like a birthday party. So I thought combining fall and my birthday was just the perfect excuse to throw a party. I really like doing this type of stuff, like thinking about ideas and putting it all together and trying to do it all in a budget-friendly way. It's like a little challenge for me. So... I had an absolute blast. I'm making some bases right now with some fresh flowers that I picked up at Kroger and I love the coloring of these. The burgundy and the orange, it just went so pretty with the vibe. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Next, we decided to go ahead and put up this banner, but you guys will see later on that I end up moving it because I didn't like it here as much. And the place that we ended up putting it was way better and so much more perfect. So um, after we put this up, we are going to add a few more little floating whimsical decorations. I love little pennant banners. Uh, I think they're so adorable. So I got one of them from Hobby Lobby and the other one with the fall colors I got from Amazon. So I'll try to link that down below for you guys. But I feel like these little pennant banners just give the fall whimsical festival look. And yeah, I love them so much. Before I sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right these huge paper flowers were so gorgeous and i don't think i got any footage of me putting those up but i basically put them on the window that's right outside of the patio and then we also decided to go ahead and make another little table area so we used our horses and we just put like a piece of scrap wood on top to make a table and I threw a tablecloth on it and this was gonna have like all of the drinks so pretty much everything was outside except for the hot food which I didn't get to film for you guys Marx's mom and I made um, chili and we also made queso dip like rotel dip and we put those in crock pots it was so easy so easy i'll leave the recipes that i use for the crock pot dip down below and then the chili recipe i kind of just winged it because my mom taught me how to make chili so i pretty much had that memorized but now y'all just about everything is in place and it's time for the final reveal
y'all the fall party slash birthday party was so beautiful so magical and i had such a fabulous time i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and the whole fire pit transformation let me know what you think about it down in the comments and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye